Hey there, filthy animals. Mr. Dirt back with another episode of GTM Show. Today we've got another one of those frozen pizzas from Walmart, and they're Sam's Choice line. Uh, I'm not quite sure which one we did last, but I'm pretty sure we've never done this one before. But once again, they're thin crust, aren't they all? This is the smoked beef brisket pizza. So there's the package you're looking for if you're looking for this in stores. Go ahead and take all that in. Uh, what do we got here? A barbecue lover's dream, smoky beef brisket, smoked gouda cheese, and a smoky barbecue sauce. So there you go. There's no getting out of the onions on this one. But uh, yeah, look at that pizza right there, man. It does look pretty good. So all right, on the back it does have us throwing this into the oven at 400 degrees. Uh, remove the plastic wrap from the pizza, bake directly on the center oven rack, preheated oven for 12 to 14 minutes, and then you have to let it sit for like 2-3 minutes before you go slicing into it. Let's open the box and take a look at, you know, the placement of everything that's on the pizza here before we go slinging it into the oven. Uh, yeah. Not bad looking, actually. Take a peek at that. You see there's lots of cheese on there. Before I uh, go slinging this in the oven, I'll probably have to give it the old shuffle. You know, spread it around again. But yeah, just looking at this, as I spread it around, there's a lot of meat here. Looks like a lot of brisket. It's diced up. I'll bring you in even closer so you can get a close look at, you know, the size of the brisket meat before it goes into the oven. You can see the chunks of cheese before it goes in. Typical, uh, you know, frozen pizza crust. Wow, I can smell the barbecue sauce right through the wrapper. So I'm going to go take care of business in the kitchen. Uh, it's going to take me about 14 minutes. Not you guys, though. It'll be like a second. We're going to come back. We're going to see what we have. Stick around. All right, you filthy animals. We're back. We've got our smoked brisket pizza from Sam's Choice out of the oven. And let me tell you how this went down before we go chopping into this and we go showing it off. I put it in there for 14. Um, I'd say after about five minutes, I checked on it. And it looked like it was done. So I thought, well, they know their instructions pretty well. You know, that's, that's almost like half the cooking time that they said. That, that can't be right. So I closed it up. I went and uh, I chilled out for a little bit. And maybe like two minutes later, it just smelled like it was burning. So I sprinted to the kitchen and checked on it. And yeah, still with like, I don't know, almost three minutes left on the clock, this was done this much. And I gotta tell you, this is starting to remind me of the Blaze pizzas that we've been getting lately from their uh, their fire fire blasted or whatever. Check this out. Here is the uh, smoked beef brisket pizza from the Sam's Choice Frozen line. And there you go. I'll bring it even closer so you can get a close look. Yeah, completely well done. Even charred around the edges. If I can lift this up, you can see the bottom of it. And I know the uh, old B over there at SAS. He would not like this at all. As I just lifted it up, I heard the crust go crack. He hates this kind of pizza. But yeah, you can see, like, you probably see the crack in the bottom right there where it is. It's like cracker crust. This is like artisan thin crust. Like sometimes around like uh, coastal cities, you might find like a little mom and pop shop hammering out pizzas this thin. This is like beach pizza right here is what I'm saying. I'll show you one more time before I cut it up. That's well topped, you know, for a frozen pizza. Well coated. It's a good coating of brisket, a good coating of the cheese, good coating of the barbecue sauce. Uh, let me tell you, they did not skimp on those onions either. As I had spread the toppings around a little bit before I threw it in the oven, man, there's a lot of onions. Right now, I get like a meaty smell. I wouldn't exactly like just come out and say, oh, it's brisket. But I, I do get a meaty scent coming off of this. I do smell like the dankness of the Gouda. Uh, I do smell the barbecue sauce. That's smoky and sweet. I can tell that right now without even biting into it. Now let's cut it up. Alright, so there we go. We've chopped it up into uh, six slices here. So here we go. It's the uh, Sam's Choice made with smoky barbecue sauce. Thin crust. No shit. Smoked beef brisket pizza. So, you know, B over at the SAS, he always likes to take that 420 slice. I think I'm going to leave that for him, and I'm going to slide up here and steal away the 710 slice. Here we go. Ugh, the onions. I didn't think you'd be able to taste them that prominently, but they're there. Uh, the brisket, you really, I can't say, like, that's brisket. 
that just tastes like uh, any pulled beef, barbecue pulled beef that you've had from any barbecue joint, really. And some people might even say, oh, well, when you go to a barbecue joint and you get the pulled, beef, the pulled beef, that is brisket that they're using, not this. I would almost say yeah, this could possibly be coming off like the side of the face of the cow, uh, back of the hoof, something like that. Here we go, second snap. So, it's okay, this pizza. Uh, mediocre barbecue sauce. I can't tell if that's Gouda at all. It could be anything. It could be mozzarella with a little bit of cheap cheddar mixed in to, you know, give it a little bit more body. This meat could be anything. It might not even be beef. It could be pulled pork. They've uh, masked it with so much of the cheap barbecue sauce. You know, like I say, it could be anything. They call it brisket, call it whatever. This could be pig snout. They're just calling it brisket. I do like this little paper thin crust that they've got going on here. It's got just enough stability to hold this all together without becoming, you know, it's, it's crispy enough for it doesn't get wet. It doesn't get mushy and soft. You know, it's not drooping and falling apart. So that is holding it all together. That's a plus. I'm really running out of uh, nice things to say about this pizza here. Um, it's, it's okay. It's, the whole thing is just mediocre. I really don't dig the strong onion flavor that's coming off of it. It's not mild. I mean, there's a lot of them on there, and they're like raw. They're not like cooked onions. They, so they still have all of their flavor. Nothing's been cooked out of them. I think I might be able to power through maybe one more slice, and then I'm done with this. It's not overly offensive, but I can't see myself ever buying this again. Uh, they, just have, they have a Philly cheesesteak pizza, for Christ's sakes, that is way better than this one. Uh, right on the shelf next to this, as a matter of fact. I'm giving this a low 3 out of 5. It's just kind of, eh, it's there. So there you have it. It's the Sam's Choice Thin Crust Smoked Beef Brisket Pizza. Go check it out. Who knows, maybe you'll like it. Don't forget you can buy these knucklehead t-shirts and hoodies down in the description. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Real Mr. Dirty. And as always, get out of here. Go have a rotten day.